escape Raven Rook and hey, make my nice way back towards Megaton. I've since completed the, the Citadel and sold some stuff. And now I'm going to talk to Elder Lions if I can find him. All I'm saying here. is, the longer we sit here, the more time they have to shore up their defenses. We should hit them sooner rather than later. We barely have the manpower to keep the Citadel fortified. We've been over this before, Sarah. So we just wait until they decide we're next on the list? If the Pride goes in now, we might have a chance. And if you fail, then what? The risk is not worth the reward. I agree. Without the Gek, the Purifier is useless to the Enclave anyway. They may give up before long. I don't like it. You don't have to like it, Sarah. You just have to follow orders. Yes, Father. So, you're back. We had feared both you and the Gek were lost. Were you successful? Well, uh, sort of. I found the Gek. Excellent. With that, we hold the key to keeping the Enclave from controlling the Purifier. Well, it's not quite that simple. What do you mean? Explain yourself. The Enclave took the Gek. They're installing it now. Then we must go at once. If you have any other information, tell me now before we mobilize. Any help you can give might save lives. Eden wanted me to sabotage the project with some kind of virus. I see. And where is this virus now? I have it here. Take it. Thank you. I'll see to it that it's disposed of properly once the scribes have had time to analyze it. Perhaps we have underestimated the Enclave. Sarah may be right. An attack may be necessary now. If the Enclave has the Gek, there's nothing stopping them from starting the Purifier. They'll figure out the code eventually. I'm afraid you're right. We need to act now while we can. Send the Pride in. We can do it. We can win this. All right, Sarah. The pride goes in. But I want them to have some extra firepower. Rothschild, is it ready? What? Hell. No, I, I mean, Lee and I have solved the power problems, but we've only barely finished diagnostic tests. So? It's not ready for field tests, let alone live fire situations. The weapons haven't been calibrated, the navigation detection system is offline. Rothschild enough. Can you make it work? Honestly? I don't know. I think we can scrape by, and I suppose if we can't, it won't matter in the long run anyway. Then it's decided. Sarah, you take the pride and use the robot as support. Take our friend here and secure that purifier. Yes, sir. Okay. Before we get started, I wanted to let you know that my father and I have been talking. The pride and I have decided that after all you've survived, you've done enough to be an honorary member of Lion's Pride. So congratulations. Membership comes with some privileges, including our power armor. You want the full suit or the recon armor? Um... I'll try... Yeah, I'll try the power armor. See how it compares to mine. Sure thing. Hopefully, it'll give you a bit of an extra edge. Okay. So do you think you can hold it together for this? Of course I can. Now that's what I like to hear, soldier. You all packed? We're not coming back here anytime soon. I think I'm ready. Okay, don't be nervous. You'll have the whole pride backing you up, not to mention this giant tin can. Just stay safe until we reach the purifier. You're no good to us if you're dead. And what is the And tin don't can? let that thing step on you. Yeah, but the, the tin can? Oh, that tin can. Okay, we're going to go over it one more time. The pride is on me. The goal is Project Purity, but we can't get into the facility with those energy fields up. Rothschild and Lee say this robot should be able to take down the energy fields. So we're on fire support. We stay close to the thing, keep it clear, and get it to where it needs to go. Once the fields are down, we head straight for the facility. We'll use the robot to keep them occupied while we get inside and secure the control room. We need to move quickly before we lose the chance to surprise them. Get whatever supplies you don't already have, and we'll meet in the Bailey. When we're done with this, everyone can have a nice cold glass of water on me. Let's move. <laughs> All right, Rothschild, fire it up. Pry, move out! I would love to move, but I can't.
that's this hall. No, just no. Hey, folks. What have you got on your mind? Yes, by all means, let's. As much as I like the armor. No. This is bad. Brotherhood is at your service. Yes, yes, let's go. Primes and makes his way to the grave fight. Okay, here we go.
aggressors. everywhere. Okay, in we go. Yeah. 
You again. Me again. I can't say I'm surprised. You and your ilk seem hell-bent on destroying everything our government has worked to achieve. There's nothing to stop me from killing you this time. Let's end this. Give it a bosom. You've lost. I beg to differ. The Enclave is at the height of its power. Once this facility is operational, the masses will flock to the Enclave for fresh water, protection, and a plan for the future. Ravenrock is gone. He didn't check out. You've got nothing left. You're in over your head. And no amount of talking is going to get you out of it. Once you're dead, we'll finish off this pathetic brotherhood and become the true saviors of the Wasteland. This saviors? ends now! No. You are not saviors. takes care of that. By now, the Pride should be mopping up whatever opposition is left outside. Yep. Let's get this room secured. Hello. Indeed. Hello, is anyone there? Not right. Now, where did Colonel Martin's body go? Seriously, what is it? It has to be turned on now. If I'm reading this right, I'm afraid there are lethal levels of radiation inside the chamber. I'm sorry. I wish there was some other way, but there's just no time. It has to be done now, or the damage will be catastrophic. Well, so much for celebrating. Indeed. One of us is going to have to go in there and turn the damn thing on. And whoever does it isn't coming back out. Not exactly how I imagined going out, you know? So, what should we do? Draw straws? Fox is a super mutant. He's immune to radiation. I mean, he picked up the gag from Vault 87 with no problem. Surely he can start the purifier. If that's how you want to do this, fine. But be quick about it. Hmm. This is a dire predicament. What shall we do? Folks, I need you to start the purifier. The code is 216. Ah! Of course! Uh, my immunity to radiation makes me a far better candidate for surviving in there. I would say that your destiny lies within that chamber, but you have already altered mine. The least I can do is return the favor, cycle the airlock, and we'll put an end to this. Folks, we're on a timeline here. You gotta activate it before the whole thing blows up. There you go. If you're still there, the purifier needs to be activated now. You don't have much time left. I know.
And so it was that the Lone Wanderer ventured forth from Vault 101, intent on discovering the fate of a father who had once sacrificed the future of humanity for that of his only child. The Capital Wasteland proved a cruel, inhospitable place. But the Lone Wanderer refused to surrender to the vices that had claimed so many others. The values passed on from father to child. Selflessness, compassion, honor guided this noble soul through countless trials and triumphs. It was not until the end of this long road that the Lone Wanderer was faced with that greatest of virtues, sacrifice. But the child refused to follow the father's selfless example, instead allowing a true hero to venture into the irradiated control chamber of Project Purity. Thankfully, when selected by the sinister president to be his instrument of annihilation, the Wanderer refused. Humanity, with all its flaws, was deemed worthy of preservation. The waters of life flowed at last, free and pure for any and all. The capital wasteland, at long last, was saved. So ends the story of the Lone Wanderer, who stepped through the great door of Vault 101 and into the annals of legend. But the tale of humanity will never come to a close, for the struggle of survival is a war without end. And war... War never changes. Careful now, careful. Don't move too quickly. Everything's fine, you're safe. You're in the Citadel. I was starting to think you might never wake up, despite assurances to the contrary. I've been coming down here every day to see both you and my daughter. It's good that at least one of you has recovered. Where is Sarah? Is she okay? Yes, yes. She's fine. Oh, she will be. I appreciate your concern for her, but really don't worry. You've been through enough. So, what happened? How did I get here? Please, relax. Everything is fine. You were brought back to the Citadel after some sort of energy spike in the purifier. You and Sarah were both knocked unconscious. Quite a bit has happened since then. Did we win? Did we beat the Arncliffe? Yes, we most certainly did. Between your help in destroying their headquarters and their subsequent defeat at the Purifier, the Enclave was thrown into disarray. Liberty Prime has been assisting our forces in removing any remaining Enclave forces. What about the Purifier? Did it work? Indeed it did. The tidal basin is full of fresh, clean water now. We've been working to see that it's distributed to as many people as possible across the Wasteland. In fact, I'm hopeful that soon we won't be referring to the Wasteland any longer. None of this would have been possible without the efforts of both you and your father. I doubt we shall ever be able to truly repay you. So, what happens now? Well, that's really up to you, isn't it? The Brotherhood has a clear plan of action. The remnants of the Enclave must be swept away. The Pride has been working to this end ever since we took the Purifier back. 
The only remaining question is whether we can count on you to help us. And how might I be able to help? Indeed. We can use every able body available to us. To that end, I'm going to circumvent our standard recruitment procedures and declare you a Knight of the Brotherhood of Steel. Before you do anything else, please speak with Scribe Rothschild. I'm sure he'll be pleased to see you again. He can brief you on the details of the last few weeks, as well as where our efforts are focused now. I understand that you've been through quite an ordeal. But the sooner you can talk to him, the sooner we can put an end to all this. Okay. Um... What's going on with the Purifier? The Brotherhood has taken over control of the Purifier, and is managing distribution of the water to the people of the Wasteland. If you travel there, speak with Scribe Bigsley. He's heading up the on-site operation. Um, okay. I should be going then. Please be careful. I would hate to lose you again. Uh, bounty up to 30, luck pick up to 35, repair up to 50. And there should be some new perks to choose from. Light step. Low brain. That's definitely useful. Okay, where am I going now? I patiently await your word. That's our lines. Another glorious Let's day in this man's going. army. Okay, so... I am looking for... Was it Scribe Rothschild, I think? In here? Outside? Outside then. It's good to see that you're on your feet again. I assume Lyons is immediately throwing you to the wolves? Has he told you what's been going on while you've been resting? Um, I've learned a little bit, but I was hoping you could tell me more. Yes, I believe I can. Step over here for a moment, will you? And where is here? The map screen? I'll give you a brief history of what's happened over the last few weeks and what's going on now. As you well know, this all began with the Enclave's occupation of Project Purity here. Thanks to you, their main headquarters here was utterly destroyed. They then suffered a second defeat at the Purifier. Based on a combination of intelligence and field reports, other Enclave locations throughout the Wasteland were found. Cut off from their leadership, it was expected that their forces would be in complete disarray. This has not been the case. Based on data and tech gathered from these locations, we've determined that the Enclave forces are still maintaining remote communications. We isolated the transmissions and found their origin point, an old military installation in Rockland to the southwest. Our advanced scouts have checked over the area, but no easy access to the facility was found. So we're making our own access point. Paladin Tristan is leading the team setting up forward base in an old car tunnel near the site. Once he's settled, Liberty Prime will be deployed. Prime's directive is to neutralize their defenses and create an entry point for the team. The team will move in, eliminate any opposition inside, and cut off their transmitter. Any relevant data should be brought back here. Now, did you have any other questions? If there's anything else you'd like to know, I'll tell you what I can. Otherwise, Paladin Tristan will be waiting. 
I'll alert him that you're on your way. How is Libji Prime holding it? Performance is exceeding all our expectations. He's been especially effective against the Enclave's vertebrates, for which we previously had no counter. We are fine-tuning his programming as we go, but on the whole, I'm pleasantly surprised. It's as I always suspected. Prime's real issue was energy management. And when Dr. Lee helped us solve that problem, well, <laughs> the rest was easy. What's going on with the purifier? It was determined that the Brotherhood should directly oversee the purifier, as so as to prevent any mishaps. Scribe Bigsley was placed in charge of the operation, and is directly overseeing our efforts. Okay, I'll be going then. And so you go. Right then. So, I need to head for this tunnel. And I'm going the wrong way, the exit is upstairs. So yes, I need to go west to the Rockland car tunnel and meet Paladin somebody, Tristan. And Liberty Prime. Mercenary maniacs from Talon Company, especially in the downtown DC area. So then, if you see these hombres, steer clear. Time for a bit of a trip. Need something? Okay, so here goes. To head west to the rock and car tunnel, as I you said before. Yes. I'm not sure exactly the best route, but I think I need to head south first. And hope I don't run into too many enemies. People's Republic of America radio signal found. I'm curious. That just sounds like static. So this must be the um, defense for the citadel, and I see some super mutants off in the distance. Chinese assault rifle. Yes, I haven't had one of those before. I wonder how good that condition that is in. That's pretty good as well. I know for a fact that's better than the assault rifle. So, from now on, I will be using a Chinese assault rifle instead of the assault rifle. There we go. That took a little too long. So, as I was saying, I'm not sure of the best way to continue west, but it seems to be going fairly well so far.
Can't I use Stimpax? I can't have used all of really? Have I used all my Stimpax? I have tons! I wish I'd known that before I left. Okay, time to repair some stuff. Well, that could have gone better, I admit. But, oh well. Now then, where was I going? This way? Oh! I must tell me there's something useful in here, like a stem pack. Don't I have 50 lockpicks? It's damaged. Oh well. Anyway, uh, yes, grenades. Ammo. I did not want to take and get another hunting rifle. Uh, whatever. Ah, you have a rocket launcher. Illustrated. Okay, I'm still too heavy. 
Right then, uh, slim packs, please have some slim packs. Serious day. Also, where's Fox? He was with me. Impacts whatsoever. Brilliant. Well then, I will carry on to the west. I know I'm crippled. Stop telling me that. Check to see if there was a bed. Oh well. Uh, there's an unclay vibe, but which doesn't seem particularly bothered by me. There's something over there, though. I can't tell what's what. I don't really want to shoot any innocents. Okay, that's a town company, Mac. Please focus. Nice. What on earth is that? of that. Ah, it was some raiders fighting, um, town company, Max. That's okay. I don't care about them. Will you... Stop? Please? That's a raider, okay. That thing's still flying there. I've discovered the nuclear cola plant. I just need to find my way around it now. Seem to have found a village. And now, 
I wonder if the citizens of Andau will let me sleep somewhere. I they don't mind. What? Who are you? What? How? How did you get in here? What are you doing in this town? Get out! Get out while you can! W why What's wrong? You don't see anything wrong with a quiet little town full of friendly people in the middle of a blasted wasteland? Well, you're the first person I've seen, and you don't seem that friendly. No. Well, yes. But it's all a trick. Don't you know anything? Did you just crawl out of a vault or something? Well... Just about everyone in the wasteland knows to avoid Andale, and they're right to do it. People wander in here, and they don't... Right. I'll be careful then. You should. Otherwise, you'll end up just like the rest. What? You don't believe me? Just look in the basement. Okay, okay, I get it. Run, stranger! Run! I had a hard time not being able to sleep here. Yes? That's going to happen there. Oh well, looks like I'm going to be here a while. This is an empty house. Oh, are those outcasts? I wonder if they can sell. Yeah, no time to talk to your type, folks. Why don't you go nope, bother them? The Fine. I'll just carry on then, shall I? There's the remains of a bed there, but I don't think I can sleep in it. Oh well. Oh, I found a red. And some raiders. You know, I don't think I can really take these on right now. Some raiders. Find something. Okay, 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 okay. Bye. That was far too close. Um, yeah, go ahead. Who's shooting at me? Those raiders? You're not even uh. above ground level. Here. Nice.
Well, I can definitely kill these, but, um... I'm not in great shape. What's that? Seriously, what is that? Rubber friend. I don't seem to be hit at all. Oh wait, no I am. There we go. decided to carry on regardless. Well, there's this big tower over there which I'm currently aiming for. Vicious dog. I saw another one, but I can't see where it went. Times do we have to go through this? You're not getting in. Uh, hello? I can stand here all day yelling at you through this damn speaker if I have to. I've already told you Tenpenny won't allow zombies to live here. Who the hell are you calling zombies? a zombie? You're definitely that damn truth. For the last time, no zombies allowed. Can't you tell the difference between me and a feral? Fine. I'll show you the goddamn difference. Just you wait. You'll get your Fine. own I'll you. see if there's anywhere over there. There's just a ghoul arguing with an intercom. Oh, a trader. Nice. Yeah? Have you anything for sale? A few odds and ends. And of course he doesn't have any stim packs. So Give me a shout if you need anything else. I wanted some stim packs, but he clearly didn't Bye. have any. So I'm just going to have to carry on like this. like a metro station. I wonder if there'll be anywhere safe down there just to quickly sleep or something. No, it is a key. Interesting that it's locked. Okay. 
I suppose. Can you please tell me there's a bed or something in here. There's a scavenger. Mort, hey there. Anything for sale? Take a look. Well, still no stem packs, but I can sell some more stuff. Thanks. Later. What's the big idea? So get your glasses ready, children. This right. And still nowhere to sleep. This is getting ridiculous. Restore it. 